All right, you guys, we're back with another guide video for Kumu Hell. And this week is uh, no food. It's one of the missions. So I know you guys are going to think that's really bad, but it's actually not. Uh, other missions are use rank skill three two times and defeat the last enemy with a human hero. So Keo's going to come in clutch here. For artifact set, you want to run this set, or you can run the other healing set if you don't have this one. For Keo, HP defense. Uh, and you can do attack defense, but do HP if possible. Margaret, HP defense no matter what. She's not here to do damage this time. Gother, HP defense no matter what. King, HP crit damage. Uh, if your king's not built, maybe attack crit damage will work. Um, but yeah. So here, uh, like I said, the mission, I know it sounds like it's going to be really hard not having, uh, not having uh, old food, but it's not too bad. So let's hop in here. We're going to start off the same way we always do. Target the guy on the left. Waste the Keo cards, waste the Marg card, and waste the Sever card last. Because you do not want the extra damage from King's Passive. Now, if something happens and... Your king's not built. I know your units aren't going to be like mine. So, uh, maybe you may have to change the order of the cards you use compared to mine and chip them down a little bit lower. If you kill the guy on the right, it's okay. You're not going to score as high. But if your go through rolls not killing, you're just going to have to do that um, to get that middle guy down low enough. You'll just have to play around with it and see. Here we got good cards. Basically, what you want to do is instead of getting everyone's ult, you just need to get Gother's ult and King's ult by turn 4. So here I'm going to toss this Keo card to make some space. I'm going to go ahead and Pumpkin Bomb so he doesn't ult me. And if, by the way, on turn 2, if your King is uh, patiencing the middle guy, you're going to have to change some gear or something around on your Gother to make sure that your uh, Pumpkin Bombs are landing on the middle guy. But uh, we got everything we need here to get King Gold, and I believe we can just move the Gother rank up card once. Now we are going to go ahead and rank up Mark here, but we are really, really betting on drawing another rank up here. Because if we don't draw another rank up, this run's dead. You need a level 3 Mark buff. So there we go. Now we're really close to Keo Ult. We were very close to King Goal. We can get it right here by moving a King card. We did draw another rank up, so that's perfect. So we got them chipped down here. Everybody's real low, but everybody's still alive, so we'll be able to kill a Gother ult. So we will rank up everyone, or rank up everyone. We'll rank up Margaret. I'm trying to decide if I should toss the king card or just move it I'm just gonna move it just in case I don't don't draw another one because you will need two king cards after this so we'll just move it just in case we don't draw another now like I said you guys this is what you want to get to and finish off with go through old you may not be able to do it the same means I did but just make sure you chip him down low enough to do it by ever, you know, if you have to use more AoEs, then use more AoEs. But here, we will use a King card. Ult with King. Now we need to get Key Ult. And then, I'm actually going to throw this level 3 Marg card out to get the level 3 mission. We need to use 2. I hope this doesn't do too much damage to the middle guy. see there's that mission okay we'll get a little extra points from charge we'll get that mission and he didn't get too low so now we have Keo ult to finish him off here so we're going to use this level one king card to get the extra damage from his passive and hopefully it will not kill and we'll just toss these cards here for points but yeah basically you just want your run to look like this Anytime before you use an ult, try to use a king card if possible. Except in the first phase, if it's going to kill somebody. But 
yeah, there you go, you guys. 9.8, uh, pretty good score for this. All the missions are complete. But yeah, 